In Becker and Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the research community is working hard to find ways to limit the impact of disease. But how do we better understand how the disease is progressing and the impact of potential new treatments? One answer to that is the NSAA, or North Star Ambulatory Assessment, which measures the impact of Becker and Duchenne on everyday activities. The NSAA is a series of 17 physical actions, like standing up, climbing steps, or getting up from a chair. The assessment is done with a member of your healthcare team. For each action, you get two points if you're able to do it on your own. One if it's possible after adapting your technique, for example, holding a chair's arm to help you stand up, and zero if you're unable to complete it. The maximum score is 34. A score of 34 means that Duchenne or Becker isn't really limiting your movement yet. But the lower your score, the more effect it's having. The NSAA is a well-established tool for Duchenne muscular dystrophy and is now being used to assess movement impact in Becker too. Here's why the NSAA is so useful for people with Becker. Studies have shown that in Becker, once you reach an NSAA score of 32, decline has started. This doesn't happen at the same age for everyone. The same studies show that decline may continue by one or two points every year. That means day by day, you might not notice significant change. But if you compare to, say, the same time one or two or three years ago, differences can become more apparent. Losing even one or two points can have a big impact. Little movements can make a big difference. Like being able to climb a step or a curb, or standing up from a seat easily, or being able to get up from the floor after you've had a fall. The NSAA helps you and your healthcare provider understand how your disease is impacting your movement by routinely assessing which of the set activities you are able to do unassisted, which require adaptation because of muscle weakness, and which are no longer possible. That way you can be more responsive in your care decisions and have better control of your condition. If you're interested to understand your own NSAA score and be more involved in your disease management, consider discussing it with your healthcare team at your next opportunity.